Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between two of the greats, Ducky and Dionysian. Dio is down so much TV, he's got himself a Halfling Master Chef, which has stolen two rerolls from the vampires. Of course, in the previous game, Ducky didn't need any rerolls on his vampires because nope. he's got so much pro. But there you yep. go, Dio also has a wizard, and I'm joined in the booth by two absolute stars of commentary, Purple Chest and Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Here. I'm starting a, starting a new life as a Blood Bowl commentator full-time. And by full-time, I mean probably once a week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Oh, boy. Um, Ducky and Dio, a match for the ages. Both former Chalice winners, I assume. Yes, <laughs> Ducky's won it multiple times as a Dio. Vampires versus Chorfs. I mean... You gotta love Chorves in any matchup, but vampires can always attack the ball. And Ducky has some good looking vampires there. The five man build did not take Sage's advice. Who are your picks to win this one, guys? <laughs> it's Ducky, isn't it? Very far. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that, that, you know, that's not a disrespect to Dio. Why do you say that, though? It, because his just team is far, far better. It's not a disrespect to Dio. Um, it's it, racial matchup is not already not great for for chorfs. Um You know they've got to either risk a pickup on a ball. Who then is quite good to be fair. Strength four ball carrier. Um, but if they do, that's strength four out of the fight, and then they're just getting beaten up by all of these vampires that are strength four, and they've only got strength three. They lose their guard because they can get gazed, and you know any bash team against vampires it gets their caging kind of strategy just torn to shreds. Um, and th this vampire team is it's just incredible. It's an incredible vampire team, and it's not an incredible yeah. chorf team. It's a crap chorf team. <laughs> yeah, you know, I will say, I will say, chorfs always have this effect when you know you're playing a good coach and he's got chorfs. Like before you see the skills, you just assume they're gonna wreck you. But yeah, looking now, looking over Dio's team, there's not much going on here. I don't know what's going on with this move. The move five. <laughs> <laughs> a short blocker seems <laughs> unnecessary to well, me. He used to have a good team. This is the problem. Uh, um, okay. So he chose to bite the guard rather than the wrestler that was already prone. Interesting choice. Um, I guess just to make him in the cage rather than having him. Maybe yeah, move another guy. I don't know. I'll, it's I'll kind of being, for this one. It's this CD team is kind of the inverse of the uh, the Rick Reckless CD team that's also still in the chalice, as far as I know. Um, <laughs> In that it's got uh, it's got a couple of fantastically nice bulls, uh, but pretty terrible blockers. Yeah, yeah. He, Dio used to have a good team. Oh, in comes the fire! Oh my god! It's a ducky fireball! <laughs> wow! Oh my goodness! Five, five out of five resists! Oh my god! It's like uh, it's like Dio had the one ace in his sleeve and decided to light it on fire, quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's um that's a spicy uh, i mean i think he's he's going for the very early momentum shift isn't he yeah and as um, it was ducky it was, that is a <laughs> it was an equity shift a huge equity shift <laughs> ducky that is a lot of words used to say i baited that sucker's fireball out <laughs> <laughs> Baiting it with a five resist, baiting out the yeah. five resist. Oh, that's disgusting. It, it was a little, a little too it, tight, man. a little too packed in there. Um, I, I'm not surprised Dio couldn't resist the very, very early fireball. Yeah. Uh, but uh, to no avail. And again, this is what we were talking about earlier in that, like, Dio recognizes how bad things are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and that's why, you know, if he, if he had a really good chorf team, probably, you know, holds back and waits to pull the trigger. Um, also, Vamps can struggle on offense, uh, not, you know, in terms of stalling out. Uh, they, they start eating the whole team and stuff, so they can find it a bit tricky to, to stall for long periods of time. So, yeah, you know, the, the chance there to drop the fireball and cause him a lot of problems, I think that was completely fair. And it I caused don't hate him it. zero problems <laughs> because they all failed. <laughs> In fact, it solved problems because the uh, though Ducky said he had forgotten about the wizard. Uh, now, of course, he can. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. In this situation, no matter how tempting that fireball is, if I'm facing vamps, I know they're going to steal the ball from me. I want that bolt to try and recover. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I kind of feel the same. Um, yeah. And that 
with my Chaos Dwarf blockers, despite them not being brilliant, there was still some chance to chip some thralls, which would have given me the same the same uh, momentum swing of the uh, the vampires still needed to probably score in, in four or, or three even, which gives me enough time to try and drive back. Uh, you joke about that plus move uh, Chaos Dwarf blocker, which I wouldn't certainly uh, prioritize taking, but I seem to recall last round, um, it, it managed to run a touchdown in using that extra uh, move, so it, it's certainly a piece he has used. No, oh, I mean, I, I like it. At the time that he took it, he had a really good chore team. He had, like, yeah. I think two claw bombers, and he had, like, a strength up guard. You know, he had, like, just a really good core of chore blockers, and getting that extra bit of movement, I quite like it. You know, we know how much you go for it, Purple Chest with Dwarves. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's, it, it, absolutely, that... I don't. I don't hate it if it was on a developed team. Yeah, but yeah, it now was. it looks a little floaty. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It was. So yeah, in context, it was. It was a fine pick, and then his just his team just was obliterated around it. <laughs> his team was just fully obliterated, and now now it looks laughable. But at the time, completely fine. <laughs> oh. Kinroth, you've just made me do maths. Luckily, only needing my fingers. I didn't have to take my socks off. And I can confirm uh, that as far as I work it out, zero out of five on a fireball is a one in 32. Yeah. So you're right. It is more likely than a snake. Mm. Quick maths. Oh, wow. I, yeah, good good stuff. I would have, I, if you had asked me my back of the napkin, I would have been like, no, uh, you're definitely more likely to get someone down with a fireball, but you just can't control who that someone is. <laughs> oh, it's two to the power five, isn't it? Which is, uh, yeah. it's, it's 32. Yeah. How many rerolls do you use this game? Yeah, I think none so far, isn't it? <laughs> Well, last round he used one in the first half and none in the second half, ending his first half with four and his second half with five. Yeah. <laughs> what do I say about what, Steve? See, it makes you wonder if uh, this... this. I mean, he's used the rerolls already. He's already down to two, to be fair. That he was already yep. down to two rerolls. Makes you wonder if, like, Brashnap or, uh, or Hathag would have been better than that, uh, than that, than that chef. But, uh, I've we'll I've never loved a chef for anything other than flings as an inducement. I just think it's a little expensive for what it does. Yeah. Um, and as you said, Jim, I mean, re-roll denial for vampires is a fair strategy, but when they've this much pro, I, I'm not sure it's going to do uh, as much as Dio hoped it would. Yeah. Oh, coming into effect there. Yeah, Baza, it's the one racial opponent I would consider it against, but this specific team build, not so sure. I'm going to go with the answer for the blood bags question, uh, that those blood bags are used in all the terms where they don't fail the bloodlust, and the bloodlust is like, no, I want fresh fucking blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Ninety percent of good commentary is talking directly out of your asshole. <laughs> and I don't mean farting, Jim. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be you'd be the goat. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Over the years, then, Skuro, you've definitely given us a lot of great commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, Everyone thinks I know wrestling move names. I just make 90% of them up. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks I know Blood Bowl. I just, uh, I just talk off <laughs> in a posh voice and people assume I'm knowledgeable. Brilliant. Well, yeah. Hey, if you have a podcast, it must mean you have some sort of doctorate in whatever thing you're podcasting about. So there's no other possible explanation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard some of the other podcasts. <laughs> Are yep. there other Blood Bowl podcasts? Oh, there's like 47,000. Yeah, there's a oh, lot. Oh, really? Jesus. Uh, some of them are pretty good. Yeah. Yep, some aren't. <laughs> With some all due respect. 
play it. Totally Anything grabbing and pulling like an arm workout. is basically an arm bar, Myzen. <laughs> A self rock bottom probably covered about 18 different moves as <laughs> yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the gaze. The old Edge 5 gaze. And now he's going to just run through this gaping hole. Oh no, he's only got the push. He's, he's not. It's not a gaping hole. Well, I mean, there's, he can. It's a long shot, but he can try another gaze. So no, no, he's just going through there. Oh, he's just going, he's just going just through and scoring. Would have he's just been a single two plus, wouldn't it, if he'd uh, if he'd got the power there? But with a yeah. push, he runs around the non-tackle player, and uh, fair enough. Making it three two pluses. Yeah, but with a you know with a dodge to cover them, and still with the re-roll in hand if the dodge goes early. Yeah, yeah, it always very nice. Though. Fine, didn't it? And you couldn't moan too much if one of them snaked, but it was fine. Ooh. Wow, there you go. So the 2-2 two, two with reroll better than the 3-2s with dodge. There you go. That's surprising, isn't it? I guess because you're just not likely to roll a one. Is why that happens. Well, Ducky isn't. <laughs> I've found I am quite like to roll a one. Uh, you're about you're about one in six. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somewhere around that. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's an unprotected go for it over the touchdown line to score. And I had a GFI, thus making the. Dodge better. There you go. Well, plenty of time for the chorps here, but Vamps, the one team in Blood Bowl. Well, maybe other than Kislev, but probably Vamps are a much bigger threat uh, against the Bull Ball Carrier uh, to, to jostle that ball free and uh, go up go up a sneaky yeah, we... 2 nothing, uh in the first half. Yeah. Now we had to throw that re-roll in because the fail state was awful. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Dyer's down to one re-roll, so it, it's looking yep. pretty good that he got this, uh, <laughs> that he got this uh, chef now, isn't it? Because he's been failing yeah. everything. <laughs> Gaze does not make you drop the ball. No. Oh, yeah. uh, my God! The amount of times I've been in shitty newbie leagues in tabletop and had to explain that to someone, though, <laughs> or that gaze, or that gaze doesn't last like infinitely. <laughs> like, like if I activate my player the next turn, he can go again. I had a guy fucking want to throw down over that, and I was like, "What? <laughs> you think you just make a?" Two plus and or a three plus or whatever, and then my guy's just removed from the game. Like, come on, now. <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, you motherfucker. So here we go. Guard slips in, and we're looking at a easy hit on the ball here. For the no cheat doing its job on one of those cage corners. I, I mean, I, I'm certain that Dio did this, showing a bit of leg, trying to pull the vamps in, and so he can get the hits in, but. Uh, to me, he was uh, he was showing off his knickers there, not just a bit of leg. This cage was just a tiny bit far forwards. It meant that hit on the line of scrimmage, as I said, he had to re-roll the one in 36. Yeah. Which he had the re-roll for, but perhaps if he'd uh, chosen his cage a little further back, just a tiny bit, step or two, he would have been able to absorb that double skull. And it did mean that um, there was not perhaps quite enough cover around this uh, this ball carrier. I'd like to have seen the square between the two front corners of the cage, Phil. God, look at this. Is he going after it there? He is. Of course he is. Uh, doesn't get it. He's he puts the re-roll re into it. And he's got it. And he's away. <laughs> and that might be uh, all she wrote. Hands off. 
not in the tackle zone because of the gaze. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I don't like showing a bit of leg. I don't like dangling a leg for vampires, to be honest. <laughs> no, there's, yeah. there's teams to do it against. I don't think vampires, you shove a bit of leg, they bite the whole thing off. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, you know you know what's in the leg? You're fucking like one of the biggest arteries in your body, your femoral artery. They'll go right for that thing. <laughs> yeah. And especially with a player as good as Ducky, he found the right moves to get, you know, get the gazes in. Get the ball loose, recovered. Brutal. <laughs> what? Hey. Oh, there's a oh. two-play skulls. And that's Dio's last re-roll. Re-rolls are for the weak. <laughs> oh, this is looking horrible. Don't do anything wrong. Well, yeah. Yeah, has a chance bad. to recover, but I mean, for how long? <laughs> yeah, he's that never went back. Have we pushed that plus strength chore forwards as a scoring threat? I think so, yeah. Because pulling it back and trying to stabilize seemed better to me. Yeah. Yep. It seems like uh, Ducky is still uh, more likely to score than Dio right now. Exactly, yeah. Man, he here we go. He's used both his rerolls outrageously. <laughs> Did I did I see a pro come through? Actually, wasn't that a pro? No, I think he uh, pro the blood lust. Oh, I, I heard the I heard pro chime in. I didn't see when it was. Yeah, yeah he, he pro the blood lust. I pro the blood blood lust. Failed it anyway. And then rerolled the ball. Yeah. Oh, he's not basing that strength four, though. Could that be a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the guy who's going to score? <laughs> oh, pro. Pro triggers. Oh, pro again. Oh, and he rolls into the one again. <laughs> <laughs> pro classic. <laughs> Amazing. Pro the bloodless, pro the dodge. Both of them hit <laughs> into another one. He's got Ducky his went scoring. through a lot of rerolls in two or three turns there. Yeah. <laughs> And welcome to the future, where re-roll the pro, re-roll the hit, re-roll the pickup, yeah. re-roll the dodge out. Yeah. Yep. That's well, gonna be something. Oh, dice log bug. Right. Well, you know, maybe just an actual bug in the game. Who knows? It's pretty fucked, isn't it? <laughs> Let's be honest. Blood Bowl Two is pretty fucked. Is he going to long bomb it this turn or try and hold on? No, he's not going to pick it up. Not even going to pick it up. <laughs> if he had those choices, I might be interested in the outcome. And I would suggest he would uh, probably have long bombed it because yeah. Yeah. he's put himself I think, I in think range. It's worth it there. Bail state is great with it as long as it gets up there and slams somewhere in that door's tackle zone. Then he's not getting scored on. Yeah. And if he catches it, I'll put <laughs> four piece all to the good. AJ5. <laughs> yeah, exactly, J5, yeah. Oh, Moradam, the, the things in Death Zone I can't imagine happening in Blood Bowl 3, to be honest. I would love to be a counterpoint to that, J5, but I I just agree as well. <laughs> Whoa, look at this! What the fuck is he doing? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> um, Ducky, Ducky said he was trying to set up a chain there. The rare and beautiful moment where you get what you deserve, Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Will he pay for it? It just looked like you were trying to fail, like, like a mully did it. Oh, yeah, God. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's a big one, though. Yeah, Apple comes Apple in. Apple works. Or, it was a badly hurt, wasn't it? It was, it was a miss next. Was it Miss Next? Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was Miss Next, yeah. And then he uploaded it, didn't want to risk losing it with the region. Fair enough. Alright, this is going to be a pretty incredible score if Dio can pull it off. Yeah. I think, I, you know, I, I rarely find myself truly rooting for Dio, but I think <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing a tie game off of this. It would be incredible, yeah, the strength fall. Drunken <laughs> thrall into a into a long bomb to a short blocker. Not even a long bomb, just a long pass now. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, you're right, yeah. Oh! 
Oh, he passed it to him instead. Oh, he shorted Lame. it to him. Well, he's gonna okay. go it. Lame. Should have. Should have gone for the long pass, just for the memes. <laughs> I don't care if it was technically correct. <laughs> no, I, I'm just trying to do the maths in my head, and I, I kind of think the long pass may have been a percent or two better, but I'm not certain. Oh wow! Both I feel like, like generally some... speaking. Adding in another four generally isn't the way you want to go if you only have to make, what, a five and a four? Yeah, Versus it was GFI as well, that's the thing. Yeah, three, four, two, two, four. I don't know. <laughs> Math is for nerds, right, J5? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, so a huge miss next for uh for Ducky if he gets yep. the win here. Both DPs. Shut up, Muppet. I didn't just completely uh show my hand earlier when I said you just talk out of your asshole and you sound good at your job. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a six in there. <laughs> if he could just make one eight, he'd be all set. Yeah. That was a one one of the chef, wasn't it? Or was it a fail? Did he get one from the kickoff? One one off the chef. And then brilliant coaching. So that the the, the so that Ducky gets his reroll back. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. A lot of rerolls for the that the kicks. It's really done its work, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so the chef ended up only giving Dio one reroll. And who's to say if a strength 5 goal sent me already made? No, the difference. There's a big foul. Not spotted. Or sent strength 6 non, non uh, really wild animal or animal savagery scene. Mine at all might have been that's used to. Right about this point in the game, Ducky uh, googling what's wrong with his Blood Bowl client because a foul did not get punished against him. <laughs> Chef does not fire again on overtime, not around blood. That would be pretty crazy. Be pretty OP, yeah. Really feeling the OPness. <laughs> Sucks biting a guard, doesn't it? Might have been. Oh. Might have been better off uh, not going there. It was such a valuable play to bite. But he only gets the stun, so that's not so bad. It was only good day, Nick. <laughs> again, there's a line of scrimmage thrall that was a lovely bite, and that. Uh... Takes it off a mighty blow chorf who's gonna hit it. Yeah. He's just gonna walk right in the ball again here. Yep. <laughs> yes he is. <laughs> Di Dio uses a reroll. Feeling like he doesn't really respect hypnotic gaze in this game. <laughs> I mean it's hard, right? This is the thing, it's hard. Yeah. You, you, your chorfs aren't mobile, they're not strong they're not they're not mobile and they're not stronger than crawls even. So you can't just free them up to like so like you know like, yes okay he's he's getting this mighty blow hit on his throw but also it's occupying it's occupying a chop and also it's occupying a, another guy if he is, if he wants to hit it really so it is a real struggle to, with chops against Vance, to be fair. It's one of the reasons it's so important to have a good pack of chaos dwarf blockers so they can work together using their. Their, their guard and their killing skills to make sure that they're not overpowered because they're not anywhere near as powerful as they're often perceived as being. Oh, I hate that GFI. Could have just stepped in, couldn't he? He didn't need. Didn't need to. Slightly better. Pretty good turn to have a lightning bolt. Very marginal. Yeah, I don't think it was worth risking the GFIs for. But he got the push, so that makes it look better that he, he did the GFIs. But of course, if he hadn't done the GFIs, he could have rerolled the hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, true. Another removal. He's making quite a few removals here, Dio. So if he can get a bit of luck, he can uh, stabilize. And yeah, so he just does the one V there on its own. That's my guest arriving. I will uh, be back, possibly. Uh, we'll see how the uh, time goes. Okie dokie. Thank time. you very much, PC. Glorious. Enjoy. Yes, this is, this is looking really rough actually now for, for Ducky, isn't he? These three stuns, all he's got on, 
activating it is the uh, is five vamps plus there's one draw. This turn is a yeah. Risky yeah, the turn. dice, the dice could turn on him, but you know you have the ball on an edge five blotcher. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's never really that rough. No, true. As, as evidenced right here. Oh, there it is though. Rerolls it, and this could pretty much put the game away. <laughs> yep. And yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? Last turn, he, he bit a really good player, and he, he got him there in this situation to receive a handoff. So it was the planning, the planning of Ducky yeah. there. It, it was a worse guy to bite. It was a worse guy to not bite. Um, but the in the end, uh, that guy round the back, which he was then able to hand off to and escape with, for the two 0 win, probably, isn't it? Yeah, the, yeah. There's no, there's no way to stop this score. I don't think no those bulls can't get there. Just bloodlust. Can you even base them. Bloodlust. Yeah, bloodlust. Well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does he pro the bloodlust on that player? Is the real question. <laughs> <laughs> There's an argument for it, but uh, you know, because yeah. he could just come come up if he failed. You know, he'd still. Yeah, he could just run there. back and bite the guard. Yeah. So there's an argument for going pro on it, but. Uh, I don't know. Take a little bit of thinking, I guess, before Take you... Take some balls. Oh, look at that. Oh, well. <laughs> the Dublé ones. Well, it is a very good thing there are no dice, because Dio <laughs> might be getting diced if there were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he looks like he's going to try and make a bit of a screen in case he does bloodlust. So I guess he's just going to pro the bloodlust if he bloodlusts. He does. Yep, doesn't. And it's 2-0. And that's pretty much game. I mean, Di you know, Dio, a very good player. Could find a way into this game with some luck. But it seems like this is that situation where it's probably more likely Ducky will get another turnover score for 3 nothing than it is Dio can get a two-turn. And yeah. get back in this thing. Yeah, it's looking really rough. I mean, loads of loads of removals, but he's still got a full team. <laughs> Five players out, he's still got 11. He's got the yeah. full 16, hasn't he? I think. Yeah. Huge team. Deep bench for the Duckster. And it's almost full strength, isn't it? Like, the dirty players aren't really relevant if they don't, you know, if he's not fouling, he's down a guard. The guard, which isn't that bad. He's down his leader, which, you know, he could have already used. So, and he's down his worst fan. So he's basically full strength. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's looking really bad. Looking really bad for Dio. Now Dio's probably going to do some, you know, look, going to look terrible plays because he, he's got to, otherwise he just loses, hasn't he? And like I said, probably more likely to go up 3-0 than 2-1 yeah. at this point. Yeah, exactly, because Dio has to play like a lunatic. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to lose, you're going to lose, so you might as well try the crazier shit to <laughs> make it even again. Well, he's, he's, trimming, he's trimming a bit of TV off Ducky here for him. <laughs> it sure is. Wow. <laughs> 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 and another removal. Two deaths and a kill. Not bad. It's got the one scoring threat downfield. Yeah, Dio not really going for like the layered cage as much, has he? Like, yeah. I mean, at this point in the game, you can't really blame him, but I feel like that directly ended his offensive drive last, you know, at the start of this half. Yeah, yeah, I think I think Daniel could have played it better against Van specifically. Uh, wow, there's, an, there's a foul and another removal. <laughs> Three cars and a kill. What an LOS. Ducky feeling it. <laughs> yeah. And so Chickenfish has the winner of this game, I believe he said. I believe so. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. 
It's a shame because I would have liked to see uh, Ducky's vampires go up against uh, Labred Mask's no ball protection offense. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, two deaths, two mismatches. Oh god. Oh my god. It's a massacre, but he's still got like almost the full team on the field. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we could struggle next round. Yeah, no, yeah, fair point, Bass. Fair point, Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Just to push, but he gets to hit him with, with tackle mighty. If he follows, no. still might. But... Yeah, he's going for the GFIs. Yeah. Fair enough, get yeah. a bit further forward. And yeah, now Dio is just going the non. He's going the space cadet route, isn't he? To just try and <laughs> try and get forward here. Um, unlike space cadet, he's doing so to attempt to score. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Scoring being an important part of Blood Bowl, I've been told. Yeah. <laughs> Sounding a little bitter about Space Cadet there, Jim, though. Did he uh, ruin your weekend or something? Nope, nope, not at all. He definitely, <laughs> he definitely didn't kick the shit out of me at WrestleMania. <laughs> it didn't Made happen. you tap out for your title, your coveted title. Yeah, going for the tours, that was unfair, wasn't it, really? Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, he did, really did. I didn't oh. even think about that. Oh, brilliant news there. <laughs> oh, shameless piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> he fails the region as well. Unbelievable. Oh, this is horrible for wow. Ducky now. Like, the thralls, yeah. okay. You know, it might eat his bench up a bit, but losing the vamp is brutal for Ducky. Five vamp as well. They are they are like gold dust. Another wrestler. Oh, go right for your balls, shatter dreams. <laughs> yeah. And wouldn't you know it, the vamps have the ball in. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Fails the pro. Ball not in hand. But there's a chance here. Another miracle play could be on. Yeah, there is. There is a chance. Uh, there's no one to throw that ball, I suppose, other than a chorf. Yeah, there's, there's the there's the there's the hob hobo here. Oh, there's a hob right there. Yeah, there's a hobgoblin right there. So you okay, just break enough. tackles away. Double GFIs. One, two, three, four, yep. five. Oh, <laughs> well, maybe not now. <laughs> you didn't knock him down. You should have dodged first, right? You should have dodged first. Yeah, I think so. Still got to try it though. Yep. Seems mean to uh, to call out Dio for not dodging first, but uh, I mean he really should have dodged first, shouldn't he? He's not he's not dodging at all now. I guess he's gonna make the play next turn and then have a real tight real tight path to drawing it. Yeah. <laughs> I think the team is not great with with losing that round, to be honest. <laughs> I think yeah, it's, Martin. It's, it's now merely a good vampire team, to be honest. I would be crying in the shower if I lost an edge five piece in a playoff situation. Yeah, that, that is really huge. I mean, two edge five vamps is, is, is insane. Um, and having one is... is. <laughs> yeah, good job there's no dice, yeah. <laughs> Hello, table leg. Uh, okay, I was gonna say. Well, now, so now Ducky, uh, uh, he can hit. He's got the ball on the ground, so that was worth it. But Ducky might have given the bull the blitz out to get free. I want to base him up again. He doesn't. Oh, now he does. Yeah. Okay, now he does. Ah, there he goes. He here. He heard me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Through space and time. Yeah, that's the play, isn't it? And. And really, yeah. Dio, there's the only one play for Dio, and that is to uh, blitz this guy, break tackle in the well, end zone. Doesn't get him down there, so now this is this is basically not happening. Yep. <laughs> That's a good point. I'll, yep, I'll, I'll go into the uh, Space Cadet School of Winning Games of Blood Bowl. Oh, made them both, though. Ooh. There's a chance. 
There's a chance! <laughs> yes, enter 503. Urta 503. Yeah. Here's the pass. Gotta stick the reroll in. This has to yeah, work. Yeah, of course. Oh, it's up. It looks good. Can Give the ball hold on? He can't. Oh, he man. can't. Dimi threw a perfect Oh, I think that's going to put a bow on this one. Fuck off, Dimi. Interesting. There you go. Baza, Baza played, you know, has played millions of games, not really. Lots of games on Fumble with Lizards. Duckies struggled against Lizards with Vam. So interesting, interesting two, two sides to the story there. Personally, I, I feel like everything's horrible against Lizards. <laughs> uh, against Lizards. Maybe, you know, if you're using Lizards, you can you can think some things are trickier than others. But it's probably biased towards the Lizards. From those, uh, you know, those two sides of the, uh, you know, sentence <laughs> that I'm failing to construct. You're nailing it, Jim. Just keep talking. You'll get there in the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you're biased. You're biased is... from both ways, aren't you? <laughs> that one's going to do it for this. Ducky going to get the big win here over Dio. And the Vamps advance took a bit of attrition, though. They, they're they going to remember this game for the rest of their existence, I think. Yeah, which could just be one more game. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, up next, Lizards with Chicken Fish as the coach. Martin scores easy versus Ducky and the Vamps. What a game. Unbelievable, yeah. I mean, it was a pretty kind of easy win in the end, but what a what a costly win! Absolutely shattered his team, and uh, yeah, it's, he's gonna he's definitely this is gonna be a game in the next round. Um, so there you go. Congratulations, Ducky. Commiserations, Dio. Thank you very much, Purple Chest, who's already left. Thank you very much, Gorilla Mezzo. Yep. legend Gorilla Metso <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>